idea. It's dark because I got off work in the dark. I really was thinking about not doing the Fury Friday this week, but I mean, but I mean, come on. I got to do it, right? Even if it's going to be short. And we get to get out here with the uh, Fury at night. And I actually, I enjoy riding at night. It's cooler temperatures. Like right now, I'm cold. I've got my flannel on and I'm cold. It's like 72 degrees. We've been so used to it being so flipping hot that uh, when it cools down like this, it kind of catches you off guard. So I probably should have put on a jacket. I don't mind being chilly. I don't like being drench myself in sweat hot though either so but I don't mind being chilly Miss Stevie's exact opposite she would she would rather be hot because she is hot <laughs> You guys can even tell. GoPros do weird stuff to light, but so it has been a week, let me tell you. But I'm not gonna focus on the week. What I'm gonna focus on is the weekend. Because this weekend is a Labor Day weekend. And we are taking a little family motorcycle ride down to Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Rocky and Shelly are coming with us, and if you guys didn't know, they're family. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to, I mean, I can't, I can't wait. I'm ready for the week to be over. I am thankful that it's Friday already. Once again, the week goes by so fast. Probably because we're so busy, <laughs> but uh, I'll take it. It's better than it's better than sitting around on your butt. And yes, I still have not adjusted the headlight on the Fury. Although I have ridden this bike more than I've ridden my Road King here lately. So it's that one. After riding this and using this headlight, when I jump on my Road King at night and it lights up, I will say. The more expensive lights are a whole lot brighter than this one. And yes, you'll say, but Stevie, your Road King has got a 7 inch headlight and two 4.5 inch passing lamps. You're right. But I shut the passing lamps off and it's still no comparison to this one and the 7 inch headlight on my Road King. Now, yes, it is a 7 inch headlight instead of a 5.5 inch headlight. But I think this one would do a lot better if I would just actually adjust the thing instead of leaving it like this. But whatever. We get uh, we get questioned a lot about the blinkers on this. Also, we have a, a video where we installed the blinkers. They're Karaoke blinkers and blinkers, running lights, and brake lights on the back, and like a teardrop. Thing. and then on the very front there is just a little tiny blinker that's bolted to the side of the headlights that way we can get rid of the great big bulky rubber mounted blinkers that were already on it and we put these on here and we get compliments on it all the time uh, we went to a, a Thursday night bike night at Frontier recently at our local Harley shop and people came up and they said, man, that looks so cool the way you stripped off the blinkers and stuff. And I kicked the blinkers on and they're like, whoa, you know, so that was cool. The video just came out on Wednesday about our Sturgis trip. I will apologize now for that video because number one, I did not mean to up to up the I did not mean to make it public on Wednesday night. It was supposed to be public Thursday morning. I hit the wrong button and next thing I know, it's like your video will begin in 10 seconds and it starts counting down and I'm like, what is going on here? And then a chat pops up. So I'm like, oh man, I just premiered this video. But it was cool because I got to chat with some buddies. Motorcycle Mama got to chat with her. ACW got to chat with, her, with him. 
uh, Blacktop Devil Brian got to chat with him. I haven't seen him since Sturgis, but we, you know, we talk quite a bit. We, man, I'm all over the page now. Man, that got cold down there at the bottom. Woo! I mean, that was that was cold. Like I don't want to be riding cold, but now I'm I'm warmer up here, so it's all good. But the bottom of that hill, man, it was woo! It was chilly down in that valley. But Eureka Springs, so we're gonna we're gonna head out. Saturday morning bright and early because Miss Stevie likes to leave early now. Yes! We're gonna get down to Eureka Springs nice and early on Saturday so we can ride around on Saturday and then we're gonna ride around on Sunday and then we're gonna ride home on on Monday. That's one awesome thing about going to the Black Hills is that the ride up there is awesome and that dude has got a stock trailer with no lights on the trailer. People come on. The ride up to the Black Hills is awesome. That ride across Highway 2 and there's so many other roads that you can take to get out there. It is a blast. It is so much fun. And going down to Eureka Springs, Eureka Springs is a great time. I mean, that the Northwest, uh, Northwest Arkansas is awesome. I have the best time there. We have our favorite places to go. Rocky's been down there a million times, so he's going to take us across like a, a boat a ferry across the, uh, a lake or something like that and then we're gonna take all these all these roads that he knows about and stuff and it's gonna be an absolute blast and then we get a ride home through Missouri again I am gonna pull up here and get gas because it seems like with this little tank that's all I do is put gas in this thing Ooh, we got chili there too. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Last week we were in the 99s and 100s. And last weekend it was warm also. Today the high was 78. Yeah. And it was like 72 when I got home from work. And then this weekend when we leave, a high of 82 on Saturday, a high of 82 on Sunday and a high of 72 on Monday. <laughs> That's going to be a switch. Uh-uh, don't you get the hiccups now. Mm -mm. Nope, not going to let you do it. <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> I said no to the hiccups. <laughs> Nobody listens to me. Ouch. That's like hiccuping and burping. That's not fair. What are you trying to do to me, body? How do I shut these blinkers out here? <laughs> no more. I'm done with them. Nope. No more. That was the last one. Nope, that is it. That one was it. Nope, no more. Told you to be done. That's it. <laughs> I said no more. This is weird though. Standing up on a bike. The hiccups are gone though. I told them to leave. One thing I've noticed about the Fury, definitely, is that the Fury doesn't like to sit. It likes to get ridden a lot because if it sits for a while then it's like mad at you when you finally start it up and go somewhere for a little bit until it gets warmed up because like the clutch wants to stick and and uh, it like is very inconsistent where the friction zone is and then all of a sudden like you've ridden it for a while and it's like okay I'm done I've quit being a baby now 
we'll ride normal. You guys let me know what you think of last week's video, the Fury Friday, where we did it live. Let me know what you think of that because you now maybe I'll try to do something like that again. I just won't make it near as long. I think I'm gonna end the video here though. More of just an update video, but it's it's Friday, and by gosh, it's Fury Friday. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool. And we will see you uh, after these car go, cars go by. We know they're not a cop on the road.